So a little beekeeping project. I'm trying to um, build some splits this year from uh, existing uh, workers um, uh, who will make a queen um, if put into a hive with no uh, with no queen, right? So they'll sense that. So what I'm going to do is I got the idea off uh, um, uh, off the internet, and so what this is this these I can't see them too well, but they're four pieces of wood. They'll they'll comprise a an eight frame hive. And the, the light is not really very good, but uh, what I'll do is um, I'll, I'll form the I'll take the four uh, sides, make a box. This is the uh, the short edge, and you can see um, I've just cut uh, one eighth um, holes into that or, or uh, slots into that grooves. And what we'll do is we'll take some some hardboard and put put three of those in each of those slots to cover. Uh, to make three compartments or four compartments um, that will then match up with that side. This side has not been cut yet. I just wanted to show it for uh, for uh, for reference. So we'll we'll cut those three grooves in there. We'll cut three uh, mirror grooves in there, and then put a piece of piece of thin thin uh, hardboard in there that'll connect this to this. Obviously, make some compartments, and then I've got some long slots or slats on the on the side to make the long part of the board and then uh, there'll be two two frames will go into each of these so I'll have eight, eight frames total what I'm going to show now is I'm using this um, dado dado blade right here which is like a, I've set it to three quarters of an inch um, and I'm cutting this um, just a, a, a rabbit uh, cut rabbit edge on each of these um, four ends and then what will happen is the, the sideboards will fit in will fit in like that and then we'll staple them shut and uh, put in the hardboard and we'll have a nice box. Yeah. So I'm going to make the rabbit cut. I've got one here, just uh, that's what it looks like on the, on the edge. So I'm going to put the, uh, an identical cut on this side. So I've got it all measured. There's the, uh, the, rabbit, or the dado blade. What I'll do is just um, turn on the uh, uh, table saw and just basically just push that through. It's very easy. joints I guess or ends and uh, I've done all four and now what I'll do is put um, I'll put another one around the top that'll be the uh, the beehive frame uh, shelf and um, uh, I'll go from there okay so there's the uh, there's the board, nicely cut. So a little rabbit edge on all three sides. We don't want one on the uh, on the flat side because that's going to be the bottom. Uh, I'll, I'll um, staple in some uh, plywood onto that. Okay, this is uh, a little trick I learned as well. So there's the the almost finished board, looking good. And then what I want to do is uh, cut some handles in here, just a handhold, and. And it's so simple. This is a, a dado blade, right? Three quarters of an inch. And I set it just low. It doesn't have to be um, perfect. Um, I set it low, maybe, I don't know, a quarter inch. And what I'll do is just take this board, center it so the middle part of the board is on the blade, and then put it over here on the fence, and then just drop it, and then just roll it back and forth and put the handle in. I think that's a great idea. So let me try that. Yeah, so that worked really well. Um, I had to get used to how long to make this. That one's a little long, but the other ones, I thought I got quite good. It took like 20 seconds each. Nice. So it's looking uh, pretty good. So I got the, uh, the three grooves cut in there on each side. Got the uh, rabbited ends fit in. Yeah, so uh, now I'm just going to cut some hardboard and uh, slats to put this way, three of them, to make uh, a total of four compartments. Okay, almost done. So I've cut the, uh, the four hardboard slats, or three of them, to make one, two, three, four compartments. And then the, uh, the, the beehive frames fit pretty nicely in here. So this is a, it's not the right height, it's a, it's a medium super 
frame, but that's the right height. And it just uh, the two of them just lay in there like that. And then what'll happen is um, these will be two frames full of um, eggs and larvae and bees. And when there's no queen in there, uh, the workers will um, will develop I don't know handful two three four five six um, cells or eggs in each compartment um, into queens, and then we can you know, harvest all those queens and sell them or use them or do whatever we want, okay? So I'm just going to uh, put a, a base on this thing, plywood. I'll do a, a roof cover, um, plywood and cedar as well, and uh, we'll be done. <clears throat> okay, well, all done. That's what it looks like. It looks, it's okay. I just uh, put together a little cover. Nothing fancy. But uh, that's what it looks like inside. So we've got the... Um, the hardboard uh, covers, so the, the queens, what happens is the queens can't get out of these, okay, so there's four uh, little apartments, basically, each will have a number of queens and a whole bunch of workers, uh, when you want to do anything with the, with the compartment, just pull the top up, there's the inside, and then there'll be two frames in there, and then each compartment has a hole, so there's one there, one there, and then two, two corresponding ones on the other side for the bees to get in and out, then go, uh, take care of the queen okay so all done that's the queen castle get the cover back on and uh, that should be that should that should do the trick I think so good okay another project done